What's going on guys? Today we are going to be trying a brand new G Fuel flavour that I'm quite excited to try because it seems like it's a very, a very tropical different thing and it, honestly I'm looking forward to it. This is the Bahama Mama and you guys have probably already seen it on you know other channels and different things and honestly I just want to give you guys my first impressions and thoughts on this new flavour that came out I don't know when it came out, but I've just not been able to keep up with how many flavours they've been coming out with. There's also, I think it's Chug Rug from FaZe or something like that. Let me have a look. Yeah, uh, not Chug Rug, but it's Battle Juice is the other one I've got to try as well. And honestly, like the G Fuel flavours are coming out fast and furious and they're really, really nice. So let's get a shaker, pop the cap on the tub and basically see what this is all about so first of all obviously i always do this pop the cap hope powder doesn't go everywhere put it in the bin right so what i can smell right now is coconut which i'm not exactly a fan of coconut i'm currently digging around in the um tub to find the uh little scoop G Fuel please if you're watching this if you are watching this please do something about this get the cap and put the thing in here mount it to that because my package obviously has come from the US to the UK and I have to literally go digging around for the per the, for the um, little scoop in the powder and I'm pretty sure everyone else has the same experience when they first get any kind of G Fuel they have to literally go digging and look at my hand like my hand is covered in stuff I clean my hand up but someone might get put off by that I mean the other way around it is to just I should have showed you doing that but I've poured into there anyway put the lid back on this thing so what I've done is I've poured it in obviously as you can see poured it into there and it's starting to turn like an orangey colour obviously this is a blue shaker but you can see that there is like an orangey red colour through the shaker so shake it up and see what happens So obviously you want to give it a good shake like I've just done, shake it up proper good and make sure that everything's mixed in. So let's give it a smell test and then a taste test. Smells fruity, what I expected really. Um, smells really, really good. So we'll see how that goes and let's give it a try. That tastes like a mix of fruit punch and coconut and pineapple and lime and lemon, lemon and lime. Basically it's a really nice flavour, there's a lot of variety in there. And to be fair you can taste quite a lot of the different flavours all at once. The coconut stands out quite a bit to me. But it's a really nice flavour. I think obviously the best way to taste it, the best way to do it would be get some water, mix it up and then put it in the fridge, shake it up once it's been in the fridge for a while and drink it really cold. That's the best way to serve G Fuel in my opinion. I've always tried to do that with really cold water or have really cold water running at the time when you're mixing it up so then you don't have to put it in the fridge and it's really nice and cool and it dissolves everything into it and everything like that. It's really nice but at a 10 what would I give this flavour? Probably about a 7.5. It's not the best flavour I've ever tasted but it's also not the worst. It's quite nice. It's very very drinkable. I could 
happily drink a lot of this all day. But obviously with it being an energy supplement or whatever, you don't want to be drinking it too much. I tend to have one or two of these per day. Like one when I get up in the morning to get me going and stuff like that. And then sometimes I'll have one about 2 o'clock, maybe 1 o'clock. You know, some, somewhere around dinner time maybe. Unless I know I'm going to be up like quite late. So if I, if I know I'm going to be up to like... For example, midnight or gone midnight, what I'll do is I'll push that 12 o'clock one back to like 2, 3 o'clock, maybe even 4. Have it then, just before I finish work or just before anything like that. And then I'm able to, you know, go ahead and have a drink that wakes you up quite a bit. It helps you focus on things. And that is very very important when it comes to whether you're working or anything like that it makes it very important and it helps me personally a lot with the job that i do which is web design so hopefully you guys really enjoyed this video my first impressions on this it, i can't give you an exact flavor like i say it's more coconut mixed with pineapple and fruit punch i think that's sort of what it represents for me but hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did smash that thumbs up button don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future content. Peace.